AMC gets a pull, we're gonna throw our one down, get a little bit of damage, and throw our polymorph to try to save the AMC. We're gonna peel back, they're all chasing Dream, unconcerned about me. We're gonna throw our ultimate down onto the Hades, we throw our one down, we're gonna activate our shield to get a increased movement speed for ourselves and our Argus. We're gonna focus onto this Sobek. Argus is able to clean it up. Now we're gonna focus onto this Guan Yu. He should have his dash, so I think he's gonna be able to get out right here. Hades is deep in mid. We're still chasing. There's a chance he let Argus catch up. I missed my polymorph, so now it's probably not a chance. What a do, skibbity boo. It's your boy, Shiny V Gaming. And today we're going to be playing some ranked joss. I just wanted to go ahead and show y'all the picks and bands. If you are new to the channel, I upload six to seven times a week. I add some commentary to a game that I've already played with the intention of seeing what went right and what went wrong. So hopefully there's something that we can learn together. If you are a returning viewer, I'm currently in a kind of awkward and weird spot with the channel because the mid-season update is coming out this week it time, and it's going to completely Olympus change the how throne. the physical characters are played in Smite. So I'm kind of hesitant into reporting any kind of guide or helpful video for any physical character because in about a week my guide and build will be irrelevant. So we're kind of just playing some magical characters, recording some magic characters, and then once the new items come out and everything gets reworked, then we're going to post a ton of videos. So let's kind of go over Hera's kit if you are new to Hera. Hera is going to, for her one, she is going to summon her Argus hands. She's going to do small damage in front of her, and then she's going to do a larger damage on the square box. Did not explain that very well. But with Hera, you can push minions with the small box and then make them land in the big box and deal extra damage. Then Hera's two is going to be a line attack that's going to transform the enemy into a jungle camp. Hera's three is going to give her a shield and is also going to increase her movement speed. And then Hera's ultimate, she's going to be able to summon Argus. Very nice polymorph right there. And then Hera's passive is as she lands abilities on enemies while her ultimate is active, the ultimate is going to get heals. So we are going against a Hades, a Guan Yu, and a Sobek. They are all pretty tanky characters. Two magical. Guan Yu is the one physical. Right now we're kind of playing a little bit passively. I think they actually have a stronger early game than we do. We miss our polymorph. We're going to try to get some damage off and help this Odin. So right now, in between waves, is a great time to be going for camps. This game, we do not do a very good job of that, but generally, if you want to clear a camp, or clear the wave, go for a camp, and then clear a wave, go for another camp. This way you're getting additional XP and gold in between waves, and if the enemy team does not match you, you're going to be able to get a lead. Generally speaking, you clear the first wave, then you go for the left or neutral harpies, then you clear wave, and then you go for your own harpies. You could be super aggressive and try to invade their harpies first, but they are pretty tanky team, and it doesn't look like we were even that concerned with jungle camps, unfortunately, this game. We are able to get our polymorph off. Damage is about to spawn. Damage on the Joust map spawns at 2 minutes. We're going to try to help our AMC out. We go ahead and ult. We're going to throw our 1 down. We get some good damage off onto this Guan Yu. We're going to use our 3. And our 3 is going to make it to where Argus does tick damage and increased movement speed. So we got the 1. We almost got the 2. He's able to dash away. We're not going to be able to get him. But there is this Hades nearby, so hopefully we can cut him off. He should be able to just dash. We get him with our one, though. Missed Polymorph. So now is an even better time to go and get a jungle camp, because they have two people back. Our blue is up, so we want to go back to wave, but Odin is going for blue, so we're just going to go with him. 
Our AMC needs a little bit of help. We're going to peel back, throw an ability for him. With Hera, we're going to be leveling up our one first. Great, great Odin ult. We're able to get the pick onto the Sobek. So the relic we chose this game was Pete. We need to worry about the Hades ultimate and the Guan Yu stun from his ultimate. We're probably going to be going into Aegis after Beats. Because Sobek has some pretty good damage on his ultimate and Guan Yu also has some good damage on top of his stun on his ultimate. So in terms of the build, we started with Mage's Blessing. Mage's Blessing is going to give us 10% cooldown once we have it fully stacked. It's going to give us additional ability damage, and it's also going to make it to where our MP5 is a little bit higher. Then we are going to be going into Tier 1 of Kronos Pendant, and then we're going to be going into Cooldown Boots. With Hera, I think Hera is an extremely strong character in Smite right now. And if you can build full cooldown on her, you can just really ultimate abuse her ultimate. I think there's very few mages that can do what Hera can do. Her Polymorph is just such a great ability. It does good damage and it turns them into a, a jungle camp so they can't use any abilities or basic attack. It's great CC. But we know Hades just ulted. We're going to go ahead and throw our Argus down. We throw our 1 and 2. Right, Looks like right. our Argus targeted Sobek instead of the Hades that we were aiming for. We were able to get this one heal. Sobek might get some good damage off. Sobek is kind of a tough pick for Hera because Hera's 2 takes a while to cast. Sobek has two knockups that cancel you out of it. So we're able to get the pick on to Sobek. Damage is up, but we're looking pretty weak, so we're just going to play it safe. We're going to go ahead and back. Such a beautiful gift. So, Joust is definitely a little bit faster paced than Conquest, especially if you can have three people all on the same page, min-maxing all the camps. Typically, I like Conquest just a little bit more. I like the starting at level one, starting with one ability, and like truly working your way up. It's nice that you start at level three in Conquest, kind of just moves things along, but or Joust, I should say. AMC gets a pull, we're gonna throw our one down, get a little bit of damage, we're gonna throw our polymorph, try to save the AMC, we're gonna peel back, they're all chasing through, unconcerned about me, we're gonna throw our ultimate down onto the Hades, we throw our one down, we're gonna activate our shield to get a increased movement speed for ourselves and our Argus. We're gonna focus onto this Sobek. Argus is able to clean it up, now we're gonna focus onto this Guan Yu. He should have his dash, so I think he's gonna be able to get out right here. Hades is deep in mid, we're still chasing. There's a chance he let Argus catch up. I missed my Polymorph, so now it's probably not a chance. So we are going to need to fall back. We're going to take their blue or see if we can. We're going to have to fall back because we can't really fight into two people right there, especially if we don't have our ultimate. If we had our ultimate, it might be worth trying to fight right there. But we're just going to play it safe. So right there was a good example of me trying to use my second ability, or my Polymorph, and then Sobek knocked me up, so it cancelled me out of it. So we're going to pick up Kronos' Pendant, and Kronos' Pendant is going to give us 20% cooldown, a decent amount of power, and some MP5. The cool thing about Kronos' Pendant is that every 10 seconds, you're going to reduce all of your cooldowns by 1 second, so it's one of the best ways to have a super low cooldown. There is a soft or a hard max of 40% cooldown, but there are a few items that kind of give you cooldown in a different way than just flat cooldown. So we could have 40% cooldown in the passive from Kronos Pendant, and we're really above 40% cooldown. Same thing with Genji's Guard and Spear of Desolation. If you were to go Kronos Pendant, Spear of Desolation, and Genji's Guard, 
and you manage to get hit by a magical ability and get an assist, you're going to reduce your cooldowns from both of those items while already having 40% cooldown. So you're going to have a super, super low cooldown. We're going to go ahead and bolt this so back. We're going to polymorph him. We're able to get the pick. We're going to fall back just a little bit. Hades uses ultimate, so we're going to try to stay down to him. He's pretty far up. Right here, we're trying to line up the one. We use our polymorph, get damage off onto two of them. If we have our shield, we're going to activate that. We're just going to let Argus charge into the tower and die. Damage looks like it is up. Try to be a little bit aggressive right there, but we missed our polymorph. Got some good damage off onto that Hades right there. Odin is tanking, so we're going to go and follow up. We should be able to burn this tower with the three archers that we have, and then go for a camp. MC gets blocked, we do have our Polymorph. Trying to body block for him. Polymorph for him. Get the one off for him. Try to stand in front. The one you is able to come in with his ultimate. So now it is just us alive. We are kind of low on health and mana. We're going to throw our ultimate down. We were aiming for Sobek. Unfortunately, hit the Guan Yu. And right there, I was trying to use my Polymorph, and Sobek canceled me out of it. The smarter play would have been to use my 3 before trying to get any damage off with my 1 or 2. That way, I get the increased movement speed and the shield, and that buys me a little bit more time to get off the 1 and 2. If I would have had the shield, I could have casted my polymorph right after getting knocked back by Sobek, but I was too low of health that the little bit of time that that bought them was enough to bring me down. Yo, the squad is carrying. AMC is able to get a pick. We cancel the Guan Yu's damage. We're going to go ahead and ult him. That's a lot of damage onto him. So now we're going to push. Hades is going to be able to make it back to his Phoenix. We've been pretty bad about camps. I think damage is still up and we just haven't gone for it. We're being very aggressive. We're going to go ahead and use our beads. Step out of here. Odin gets the stun. I get the polymorph and I'm able to clean it up with the one. Sobek's going to chase me down. We have enough money for Divine Ruin. We're going to want to pick up Divine Ruin because Hades has heals, Sobek has heals, Guan Yu has heals. Three characters all have heals. We're going to get a little bit of flat pen online whenever we get Divine Ruin online. And it's our Polymorph. We're going to get him with the one though. And we're going to go ahead and back. Up, oh, he's going for it. We used our three. We're going to have you go ahead and ult him. Up, one use the character we need to worry up out about. So right there, whenever Sobek plucked me, he actually bought enough time for the Guan Yu to come and get me. So my mistake there was not respecting the Sobek and kind of just standing still, allowing him to pluck me. Looks like AMC's about to go down. Oh, he got out. Nope, he did not. Oh, we definitely could have bought a tier 1 item of something. But we just bought Divine Ruin and Left Fountain. They're going to be able to get this tower right here. So we're going to clear the minion wave, peel back so we can get our abilities off of cooldown. Tried to bait a little bit with the false back. We do have our ultimate, so if they overstep, we should be able to burn them down. Argus, to my side. There's the overstep. The Hades dash is down, so now I should be able to get him with Argus. And he can't really run away, because he doesn't have a dash. So we're able to get that pick. We're going to go ahead and fall back. Sobek is pretty tanky, and he's dealing decent damage to me. Now that I have my team with me, we're going to send Argus on to Sobek. We're gonna try to get some damage off. He is within the Odin ult. Looks like he might get away. We do have AMC super deep on the enemy side of the map. So there is a chance that he might be able to rotate back and get the Sobek. We use our three to increase the movement speed of 
Argus, but unfortunately, he goes down right as we use it. Oh, AMC's going for it. And he got punished for it. So, this is a ranked game, but by no means am I ranked highly. I very rarely play ranked, and I usually only do whenever one of my friends convinces me to. So, I think my MMR in Joust at the time of recording was putting me in Platinum? But I hadn't played enough games to get past gold, so I think I'm playing a mix of gold and platinum characters. Could be wrong. But we, I, what I'm trying to say is I haven't grinded out ranked, and that this game is probably not a super highly... I don't even know where I was going with that. Like, they're decent players, but they're not highly ranked players. I guess that's what I was trying to say. So that is unfortunate for Ancy. He gets plucked into a Guan Yu ultimate. We're going to go ahead and ult. We're going to use our 3 to avoid some of this Guan Yu damage. We're going to use our 2. We're going to have to use our eight, uh, Aegis and Deeds. We actually use both of those pretty well right there. So our ult is down for another 45 seconds. That is a lot of our power. So back block is not good, we're going to have to use our 3, we get cancelled out of our polymorph, and that is why this team was so concerning early on. One so back block into the Hades and to Kwon Yu can pretty much burn almost anyone down. Rupa, retreat. So AMC is holding the lane. We are level 14, or Guan Yu is a level 14, so our AMC is a little bit under level. But other than that, we're kind of keeping pace. They are a little bit ahead in gold. So somehow we fell behind in this game. We had a good start. We did not optimize our jungle camp rotations, which is pretty apparent now that we're watching it back. One thing that could easily improve your Joust gameplay is early on, if you can get your team to rotate with you to the Harpy camps, start picking those up in between waves and you'll establish a lead for yourself, hit level 5 before the enemy, and then you can ult them before they have ults. So since they are ahead, I'm assuming that they're hitting camps a little bit more effectively than us. That's two ultimates. We're gonna have to use our three, get the increased movement speed. Guan Yu chose us as a target. We're gonna go ahead and use our ultimate. We use our one to get a little bit of damage off. We do have our polymorph ready. We use the polymorph. No idea what his health even is at this point. We're gonna use our three. I think this Hades is gonna be able to get me. You have been slain. Our bees are down. There was not a whole lot that we were gonna be able to do right there. We probably routed pretty poorly. We should have gone towards our Phoenix instead of towards the damage camp. Is not an option. So these guys are ranked platinum on their characters, so I, I'm assuming that they are platinum. I think that's a somewhat fair assessment. Probably not 100% true all the time, but reasonable. So we do have vision on the Demon King, which if I refer to it as Bull King, I'm sorry, that is what it used to be called. It is Demon King these days. So we have the top stats, other than mitigation. We're going to go ahead and drop our blue buff. So right here at this point in the game, if we're not collectively doing something as a team together, it can fall into chaos where we'll have two people running in, one person coming back from fountain, we're picking bad fights. We need to kind of stay coordinated past the 15 minute mark to really try to finalize things in this game. So we have AMC 
getting the Indian King for us, which is completely fine. We really want him to do that, but we need to be aware that it's going to be a 2v3. Or a 2v2 in mid, Hades actually rotates over to the MC, that's probably worst case scenario. He was able to steal it as well. We get plucked, we are looking pretty weak, we're gonna use our Polymorph onto the Sobek, get some damage off, keep running away until we get our shield. Now that we have our shield, we can turn around and evaluate the situation. Odin is able to get a pick, the Hades jumps in, we have our Argus onto the Hades, we miss our Polymorph, but we're able to get some damage off with the one. He uses his Aegis. So we are going to fall back just a little bit. Go and get our health back. I don't think they're going to be able to burn down Odin. And hopefully I will be back before they can connect with AMC. So we're going to rotate back. They have our Phoenix down, so the Phoenix is not shooting at the enemy. This is because they got full demon. We got some good damage off with our 2 and our 1. Hades is overstaying, so we should be able to punish him for overstaying here. We missed the Polymorph. We missed the 1. Or we can not punish Hades and just throw some abilities near him, try to scare him away. So, Guan Yu is also going to use our rule 2. We're going to go ahead and use our 3, and AMC is able to get the pick onto the Guan Yu. We're going to try to get some damage off onto the Hades, but he's becoming a very tanky boy. So, after going into Divine Ruin, Divine Ruin is going to give us some flat pen, some power, and it's going to make it to where whenever we damage the enemy, they're going to have 40% less healing for 5 seconds. Then we're going to be going into Soul Reaver, and Soul Reaver is going to remove a percentage of the enemy's health. Guaranteed, and it's also going to give you a lot of power and some mana. So Sobek dove really hard onto us, our Phoenix has just come back online. We're going to look to ult, we connect with both of them, it's, it's the Hades, which is our primary target. Odin uses his ultimate, he dashes out. We're kind of keeping our space between us and the Sobek, and Sobek was able to zone me away. So we're going to use R2, get some damage off, Sobek is about to die from our Argus. We were able to get the pick. So we are going to go ahead and back, regen some of our health, and pick up Soul Gem. Soul Gem is a beautiful item, it's going to provide some magical lifesteal, 10% cooldown. So right now we are actually over the cooldown cap, but our, the next thing we are doing is selling our Mage's Blessing, so we're getting rid of 10%. The reason I like Soul Gem on Hera is that every fourth ability is going to deal extra damage to the enemy and it's going to provide a heal to you and your teammates. Man, so with the super low cooldown, we're kind of always throwing out abilities and we're getting this fourth ability proc very frequently throughout the game. We were able to get some damage off onto the goal on you, force him to run away. We're going to go ahead and hit this red buff. So at this point in the game, we really just need one good team fight, knock them out, and then we should be able to get the Phoenix and Titan. So with this build, it might not be the most damaging build or the most whatever build. It has a lot of cooldown, a little bit of pen, a little bit of relevant percent health damage, and some lifesteal. Yes, we did go over the 40% cooldown cap, but I just feel like these items are all so good on Hera, especially when you build them in this quarter. So we're going to go ahead and throw our ultimate down, get some damage off onto the Hades. Our Argus didn't really know how to target, we're going to send him onto the Hades. We get some good damage off onto the Guan Yu, AMC is able to get the pick onto the Guan Yu. So we need to keep pushing right here, we might be able to end the game if we do so. We're going to have to try to get the Sobek off of AMC, we use our Polymorph, we're going to use our 1, he goes into his ultimate. So we were able to get the pick with Argus, so that is the full D aside. We should be able to just mark up mid. So the stats for this game will be posted at the end. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I typically don't do joust or ranked, but wanted to mix it up because I know the mid-season patch is coming out soon, and I don't have a whole lot of videos pre-recorded. So if you 
feel like you learned anything at all, please subscribe to the channel, check it out for some other videos, some more builds. All of my builds will be in the description of the video. If you ever want to request a god, reach out to me on the Discord server or in the comment section. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.